my name is Chewichunga, and lately I've been talking with people in the Discord, and I've been noticing they've had been having a problem with the Sims 4 multiplayer mod. So I'd like to do this short little tutorial to help everyone figure out how to do this. So first off, you want to go. You want to have Sims 4 downloaded, installed, and updated for the latest. If you don't, well. Well, that's your best bet. After that, you want to go to Sims 4 Multiplayer Mod. You can go to Mod the Sims here, or you can go to Sims Multiplayer. They both are the same file and download. I use Mod the Sims because it gives you the option. When you come here to Files, 2.0 is for the older versions, as you can read here. But I've got the latest update, like I suggest, so I'm going to grab this one here. Once you download your file, you're going to open up your Explorer, and you're going to go to Documents, EA, Sims 4, Mods. I'll just get rid of those for now. Show in folder. Open. So inside the files you will see these. All of these files I'm just going to transfer right here into the Sims 4 mods. This is the server you will see that has to be run on the host computer. The Windows Firewall Enabler is a nice tool to get past the Windows Firewall. It's not always needed but it's nice. So right now uh, we are going to run the Firewall Enabler. It'll do its thing, press its key, and you're done. Now we're going to launch Sims 4. Now that we're in the Sims 4, we gotta go up to the options menu up in the top corner. Go to game options, other, script mods enabled. It'll say yes. You have to have custom mods and script mods enabled. Apply changes. Now that we have script mods enabled, it'll actually load those mods next time we start it. So, first of all, start it up, make sure everything works, and then we will launch the server. Now it comes up with this little screen saying script mods S4 MP release. This is the latest one that we want. Hit OK. Now I'm going to Alt Tab out. So I'm back on my desktop. And I'm going to open up my EA Sims 4 mods. The server here. I'm now going to run. You can see it down here at the bottom of my screen here. here. And if you notice, it says um, it gives you the command MP true and MP false right here. So now we're going to go back to Sims. Load a random game.
position the game needs to be in when you first first um, load your save. So now what we're going to do is Control Shift C, and it brings the console up. So we're going to say MP dot C space true. This is for the computer that is running the server. If you're not running the server, it's a different command. Now it says connected to localhost, network client started. Okay. That's pretty simple. To disconnect, you go mp.dc. Done. The server did not really like that. There we go. So, and that's how you run the server to run an on um, as a client. You're going to type mp dot c space all space ip. If you look at the server right here, it says mp false and then it has an IP address this is the command for this is the command for the client that's connecting the one that your friend or whoever that's not hosting they type that command in As you can see here, it came up with the connected to, and it's got a whole list of numbers, and it all works fine. So, mp.dc. You want to do the mp.dc, otherwise the Sims game will lock up and take forever to close. And I personally have just had to restart my computer every time I forgot to do it. So, and that's about all there is. If you... Uh, you can use the game using Hamachi and everything else like that. If that is what you want to do, then you put in the Hamachi IP address, not the IP address for the local host. Thank you for watching the video and have a good day.